So let us start, all of you. I guess uh, many of you have joined. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Great. So we'll start with a simple topic. So today I will focus on one topic. And uh, tomorrow we will talk about another topic. One topic in a day. OK. And we'll try to understand in more detail. I have some pictures in my PPT. I do not have any writings, uh, by the way, because <laughs> I usually do not like uh, to use PPT in my, uh, you, know, you can see all of these are pictures only. OK. So we will uh, focus only on uh, um, explanations part. We'll try to understand more and more uh, related to what has happened. So at any point of time, when you have any kind of question, feel free to raise your hand and uh, we'll try to discuss. And I, as, as all of you, uh, you know me that, you know, in my class, I would appreciate everybody's participation and interaction so that, uh, you know, we can have a very good class today. Now, first thing is Ukraine and Russia and impact on India. I think uh, when you read the newspaper, you have gone through, or you might have gone through, uh, different uh, scenarios related to this topic. But if you look into your syllabus, if you look into your syllabus, uh, what is more important? Yes, Chintan, Zelensky versus Putin. Now let me remind you once again, for civil services, what is important is not the data, not the information, rather the issue. So it is not important that who is Zelensky or who is Putin, or it is not important that what is the fight between Zelensky or Putin. That is none of our concern. I would expect to draw all of your attention to the fact that what is important, that this topic belongs to your uh, one subject called as intensive relations. And in the intensive relations, you have something that is called as, um, you know, just give me a second. You have uh, something called as India and world. India and world. And from your exam point of view, the more focus should be given to the bilateral relations. And also you have another thing which is called as multilateral. So what is bilateral and what is multilateral? All of you know that. By bi means bi stands for two. So India with Bangladesh, India, US, India, uh, Russia, it is bilateral. What is multilateral? We have different, different groups or different angles, like Quad countries. Who are the members of Quad? Sir, Russia, uh, USA, mm -hmm. and uh, 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 Japan, mm -hmm. and uh, Australia. USA, Australia, India, Japan. Four countries. Russia is not the part of what? Okay. Sir, four countries. Yes. USA, Australia, India. Japan. USA, Australia, Japan, Japan, and India. These are the called as quad. Quad, what is the meaning of quad? Four. Tri, three. By, two. Multi, many. More than, more than two is multi. So let us not talk about this quad. Quad is indeed is an important for your exam point of view, but that's a separate thing. What is this bilateral relations I have told you? What is this multilateral relations I have told you? But today's topic is a bit of different. If you look into, uh, you know, the picture itself is Ukraine and Russia. But if something is going on between Ukraine and Russia, what is important for Okay. So if 
something is going on between Ukraine and Russia, why we should read this topic? It has does it uh, have anything to do with our country? Answer is yes. If it has nothing to do with our country, then we should not read it. As simple as it is. Agar India ke upar impact nahi hoti hai, then we should avoid these topics. So our focus, please try to remember, civil services examination, again I am repeating, it is not the examination to get the data, how many are killed. No, those things are not important for your exam. What is more important is the strategic, okay? What is more important is the strategic uh, point uh, regarding this international relations. What is reply of India? What would be the impact of India? What would be the impression of India if India takes any stand? So that is called as civil services point of view or civil services analysis. And I want all of your attention to draw into this fact that your focus should not be to get the data or to get the information related to how many are killed of Russian soldiers or how many Ukrainian soldiers are killed. That is not our concern. Okay, that is not at all. You should focus on what you should focus on. What is this Ukraine Russia issue? Why it has started? Okay, I'll just write it down here. What is the issue? How and why started? Impact on India. And how India responded is Kamatlov or India's stand. So, this is what is important from the civil's point of view. Okay, exam may agar pucha jata hai, and this could be, as I told, highly probable uh, area of topic for your upcoming examination. And you can expect a question from this uh, because it has been observed that you know from the date of the examination last one year uh, current affairs is important and this is one of such current affairs which happens which is happening after world war ii and uh, some of the scholars some of the eminent people they think it is also world war three they think i'm not saying i'm not saying it is world war three but some of the people they are claiming it to be a World War Three or beginning of the World War Three, so that is the intensity of this war is that important? Okay, so I just want to uh, ask you a few of the questions before I uh, start teaching about this particular topic. What do you know so far? Yes, Udhirandan. Any question? Yes, sir. Sir, the fourth point I written is what is sir? Fourth point. Where is the fourth point? This one, yes, yes, sir. How India responded or India's stand that means how India is reacting to this situation. Okay, sir. Okay, what do you know so far about um, Ukraine and Russia? Feel free to answer, feel free to participate in the discussion. Sir Mukherjee, yes, please. can I say something? Please, please. Uh, sir, uh, Ukraine uh, gets mm -hmm. support from uh, the Western countries like uh, NATO and uh, allied country uh, like uh, UK, uh, England, UK and uh, America, Turkey. From all these country get uh, supported uh, armed and other uh, community. And uh, due to Ukraine and China, Ukraine and Russia conflict. Um, At least appreciate your effort. Please feel free to any other students. Yes, sir. Actually, one one. Huh. Actually, uh, when NATO was formed, uh, mm -hmm. there the conflict actually started from how, the, how it begins uh, during the World War Two. Uh, actually, to counter to counter attack Russia, USA started to ally uh, some European countries. 
the to uh, to counter russia's invasion uh, after that the soviet union totally uh, devastated and destroyed then uh, as, as for now uh, as to, as the conflict started because uh, nato country started to uh, acquire its area up to ukraine means they want to invade ukraine also or ca they can deploy their security or they can deploy their forces to uh, counter the uh, russia or russia does not want to Uh, face that type of is created an enemy, secret enemy, and NATO has a NATO has a rule that they can uh, that uh, if one country is attacking to their country, their whole con country will uh, uh, totally uh, they will ally and attack together to that country. That's their main motto. I can say that's all. Okay. Anybody else? Sir. Yes, Amit. So first of all, sir, I want to say that uh, according to Indian uh, India point of view, sir, mm -hmm. uh, before that uh, time of uh, Second World War, sir, the USA, mm -hmm. sir, that was the most powerful country because they were the allies present with USA, their uh, Soviet Union, and uh, after the Second World War, sir, that uh, one thing America done that he tried to break the USA, sir, in separate countries, either in the in the date of twenty five December nineteen ninety one. The USSR, USSR completely broke down that time, sir. After that, sir, the Kremlin became the um, capital of Russia that time, and Russia bought his own flag also. But after that, sir, Ukraine always tried to be with the European countries because uh, their policies were little bit different from the USSR policy. USSR, USSR policies because USSR completely depend on the socialist kind of uh, <clears throat> policies they apply. and uh, ukraine want to be like any uh, a kind of uh, punjabad in the sense of uh, um, uh, federalistic federalistic uh, constitution also in the uh, kind of uh, they wanted to be uh, uh, some kind of uh, democracy also uh, they uh, believe in that uh, punjabadi so in this uh, in that case sir uh, they do Yes, sir. Capitalism. They didn't believe in uh, socialism. In that case, Ukraine wanted to join with the uh, UN Council also. But uh, uh, America want wanted to uh, pressurize on Russia. That's why America tried to uh, get uh, Ukraine in his part in the NATO, North Atlantic uh, Atlantic Treaty Organization. So in that stage, sir, uh, Russia uh, invaded up on on that time. First invaded Russia to Ukraine. And uh, captured the Kremlin in the date of two thousand fourteen. On the date I am forgetting, I think twenty February, sir. Yes, twenty uh, February. The Russia captured the uh, Kremlin. Uh, sorry, the uh, sorry, sorry, sir. Uh, Russia captured on that uh, um, Crimea. Yes, sir. Russia captured the Crimea. And after that, uh, Ukraine tried to dominate upon Russia because Ukraine lose uh, one part of its territory. That's mm -hmm. why, sir, uh, Ukraine wanted to join the NATO. so ukraine strictly uh, abandoned to join the nato that's why russia st again start to invade upon uh, ukraine and uh, finally uh, first of all they uh, entered to the uh, odessa part uh, the coastal areas of uh, ukraine they captured uh, 30 to 40 percent of that uh, area then after uh, that uh, kiev the capital of uh, ukraine the, the target was russia is to Capture the Kiev and uh, to uh, kill or to break means like that they wanted to kill their president because the president was in the support of NATO and the support of USA or they wanted to change their uh, policy change their uh, power means that government the Russia wanted to change the government but in in two cases. that was uh, completely uh, different because uh, ukraine didn't want to uh, means uh, surrender of in in front of in front of russia that's where the war begins and uh, america backstep that time america said that uh, we were not going to in, uh, involve in this war because uh, ukraine is still not now in a nato country so but the america uh, america and uk and uh, australia they promised that they can provide the arm and ammunition to uh, ukraine for whatever they need and they did also But uh, and in the back stage, America only criticized upon Russia and uh, declared uh, Putin as a war criminal. That uh, he is only the person who is responsible for all this. But uh, the policies applied by Russia also that were some some kind of they were inhumanitic because Russia told that the only it will be it it was only a war practice. That is a not kind of war. It's only a war practice. So but uh, Russia break his promise and uh, there was a city named Bucha. 
in the U Ukraine. There was a Bucha massacre happened. In that, uh, Russia killed so many innocent peoples on the road. And uh, when the American satellite uh, captured those images, that was a uh, very big, painful situation. And the uh, uh, whole UN Council also uh, discriminated uh, and uh, uh, criticized upon Russia. And then after they decided to um, means, uh, take out Russia from their council because as a permanent, permanent from the permanent seat. But in that case, India's stand was that India became neutral. India didn't uh, abstain the vote and uh, support the, uh, the, the neither support or neither oppose. But China and uh, North Korea and uh, one con uh, one is uh, South Sudan. They supported the Russia, as if, uh, and also I mean also Russia get his own vote. So for that there is a policy in UN that if uh, one permanent member uh, will uh, not get uh, support or not. Um, uh, so give its vote against uh, any kind of opinion, then the bill cannot be passed. So still now also Russia in that member of council of member. And after that, what kind of uh, situation faced by the world due to this war? If I will say, sir, Russia is full of natural gases and also petroleum products. So he, uh, he is the biggest supplier also to the European countries also. Recently, our uh, foreign minister, when S. Jai Sankar went to the visit to America, that uh, on the stage also he replied when a, when a criticizing comment came from the media, which a media uh, media partner, that uh, India is uh, why India is supporting uh, Russia and why India is uh, buying petrol uh, petroleum products from Russia. So in that, am I audible? So? Yes, yes, loud and clear. Yeah. So in that time, sir, uh, uh, S. Jai Shankar, our foreign minister, he replied in very, very sweet way, sir, that uh, uh, before asking us, you should ask to the European, con European uh, Secretary, the Senate, that why they are uh, still now, after also uh, proceeding a lot of uh, rules and uh, regulations upon uh, Russia, why they are uh, taking and bringing uh, petroleum uh, and petrol natural gases for, from uh, Russia. The 40% of uh, uh, natural gases supplied to European countries, for whatever we are buying uh, in a month, that uh, whole budget is a uh, whole amount of uh, uh, natural gases are uh, bringing from uh, Russia in one day for the European peoples. So that was the very uh, common controversial reply by the, our uh, uh, foreign minister. And also, sir, if we will see in Ukraine point, Ukrainian point of view, Ukraine is the uh, largest supplier of wheat. Because the production of wheat and uh, the uh, the oil like that palm oil and the, the refinery oils, the refined oils, uh, Ukraine is the largest uh, supplier and also producer, sir. So due to the war, the so many crop fields and uh, the production, the purifying um, factories and uh, the companies, the manufacturing houses, all has been destroyed by Russia. That's why, sir, uh, Russia means uh, lots of crises are happening all worldwide. In the petrol, in the natural, in the crude oil, and also uh, you, uh, Russia also unable to supply because uh, Russia is all now now a time Russia is already abandoned from the ship. Russia is already out from the swift techno technique, so that no uh, any other any other countries who are allies with USA due to the pressure of USA, they are not able to do any kind of business transaction and uh, sub export import with Russia. So this is this kind of such scenario is happening all worldwide, sir. So I am just uh, uh, completing my statement here, sir. This is from my side. Thank you. Very good, uh, Amit, for a detailed explanation. Anybody else? Yes, uh, AP with a baby tiger uh, profile picture. What is your name? Yes, sir. Good evening, sir. Hello, sir. Okay, hello. Okay. Yes, hello. Yes, sir. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, yeah. So the, con uh, the current con conflict that uh, going on between this, uh, Russia and uh, Ukraine, the peak is so the con actual conflict between the East versus West. It's not only the Russia versus Ukraine, rather it's East versus West. And it, it is not only the conflict, it is also the influence and the hegemony uh, that which uh, power try to hegemony over the smaller powers. So this is one part. And another thing is in Ukraine, some something is going on that is called as de-Nazianization. 
that is that what russia want to do and another is the nationalization is two things that russia so is uh, is uh, argument to the world another thing the conflict between these countries it's not it is uh, not only just a current contextual rather than it is a very age old uh, conflict ukraine is the ukraine is the second highest uh, second largest area uh, that came out from the soviet union that disintegrated in 1991 so uh, russia being the largest part of the ussr that came out in that uh, uh, soviet disintegration it tries to check the nato power that influenced by the usa and try to oppose the mixing of uh, uh, try to integration of the uh, uh, ukraine in the nato because in 2000 uh, 14 or 15 i think that uh, sorry in 2017 or 18 i think that uh, ukraine uh, parliament put on uh, bill that it can join in the nato so russia try to uh, check them this is the background and the, what affects this issue the russia and the ukraine country that lead a very different dimension in the, all over the world one can say the geopolitical issues and then economic issues then social issues then we can say that the current uh, world order issue then hegemon world hegemon so in the uh, in the geopolitical issue it shows the clear uh, intention of europeans and the western countries that what they want when they feel that they are in in a problem they show the world that all world is problem all world is in a problem but when all world is problem they show they think that we are safe means all world is safe it 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 saw the clear intention of the european country then second is second that is economic issue in economy we can context it to sri lanka issue one uh, uh, part of sri lankan crisis and with that affect to uh, affect to india uh, india relation means in uh, ukraine and uh, russia both are the largest supplier of uh, supplier of uh, uh, wheat and other commodities to sri lanka but this complete completely halt the uh, supply chain uh, management it is you can say that it is one of the cause of the sri lankan crisis and what that leads to that indian overburden then the uh, it shows the uh, international relation that how that inter, uh, international bodies and the uh, international organizations uh, uh, and their intentions regarding any country is we can say that uh, here uh, ukraine is right or russia is right but rather it is a very difficult situation where both countries have to come together and uh, 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 take decision uh, n- not unilaterally rather bilaterally uh, and uh, yes uh, this thing i can uh, even uh, recall right now many good. more things are there very good hello i think you have given excuse me different sir. dimensions that is very uh unique as well, as well as i think uh, um that will also give you more mark fetching very good alok yes so now i need to say something okay sir almost all uh, major points have covered sir okay <laughs> ab main kya bolu ha huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay sir i'm just uh, try to uh, cover the lab part sir mm-hmm. Uh, sir, uh, first of all, sir, uh, the uh, Russia-Ukraine relations, sir, are the uh, bilateral ties, sir. Uh, 
between the uh, Russian Federation and Ukraine. And uh, sir, when it following the Ukraine uh, revolution of dignity, sovereignty, uh, when it was in, uh, it was in 2014, sir, Ukraine's uh, Crimean was occupied by Russian forces. And uh, later, sir, in it, uh, it was annexed by Russia. Uh, while uh, this Russia separated, uh, separated uh, simultaneously, uh, simultaneously, sir, uh, uh, engaged uh, the Ukraine military uh, in a uh, in an armed conflict uh, for uh, control over the uh, Ukraine. Then these events uh, uh, marked uh, the beginning of the Russia-Ukraine war. Yeah, then, uh, sir, uh, on uh, 24 uh, February 2022, uh, Russia launched a full fledged invasion on the Ukraine uh, across a broad front and causing Ukraine to severe all formal diplomatic ties with Russia. And, sir, uh, then, sir, this relation, uh, on the other hand, sir, the relation between these two countries became uh, uh, more hostile uh, after uh, 2014 Ukraine revolution, which was followed by Russia's, uh, in, uh, Russia's uh, invasion of Crimea from Ukraine. And due to Russia's uh, banking for the separatist fighters of the uh, Donetsk People's Republic and Luhansk uh, People's Republic in a war, then it conflicts that had uh, killed uh, more than uh, more than uh, ten thousand or thirteen thousand people by early 2020, and uh, it's bond uh, a, a great Western succession on Russia. So. Then this, uh, then uh, they lead to numerous bilateral agreements, which have been uh, terminated, and economic ties are uh, got severe. Then uh, throughout 2021 and 2022, a uh, a Russian uh, military act built up on the border of Ukraine, which escalated tensions between these two countries, and uh, and which leading uh, to their bilateral relations. Uh, after this, uh, Ukraine broke. Uh, Ukraine broke diplomatic uh, relations. Uh, it broke relationship with uh, Moscow in response to Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Uh, then, which uh, which sir uh, bearing uh, the uh, which bearing sir all that uh, Russians um, uh, figures, all that Russians uh, economics all symbolize which uh, uh, which. Uh, uh, has act between Russia and Ukraine friendship were removed from these uh, various locations across Ukraine. So. And, uh, and sir, uh, this uh, war which uh, um, got impact on India is that uh, a great, Im a great uh, impact, this, uh, sorry, these two uh, countries are crisis uh, which uh, got impact on India is that, uh, sir, a major uh, crisis in uh, impact on economy, then, sir, it uh, it uh, ruptures the uh, peace and uh, uh, integrating of India, and uh, that's it. That's it, sir. Thank you. Sir. Okay. Thank you, all of you. I appreciate all of your efforts that you have put to make a comprehensive uh, a lot of informations. Now. So what you need to learn in this class and what I'm trying to make you understand in this class is what we should focus for civil services and if the question comes, which is highly probable, is supposed to come, how to answer it, okay? Because when you go to the detail of Russia, Ukraine, um, there is a lot of information available. So the question number one, is that all information required to write in this answer? Probably answer is no. We need not to mention each and everything that is happening between Ukraine and Russia. Why is that? So if you're asking me, sir, why we should not mention each and every details? Because each and every details are not a part of impact on India. So that means now we are very clear. So we should write those informations or those relevant informations which are directly or indirectly can cause or 
impact on India. So let us try to understand our focus. As all of you know that before we directly go to the topic, a little bit of context or a little bit of background is important. What is that little bit of background? Probably as some of the um, people or, or maybe experts in the field, they say that it is the beginning of World War III. Why is that so they are saying? The answer lies in World War II and onwards. All of you are with me? Everybody is listening? Just raise your hand. Okay. So, after the World War II, what happened is the start of Cold War. All of us, we know. In fact, uh, in my couple of previous lectures also, uh, I had talked about in detail related to Cold War. Now, if you look into the dynamics of the US, then probably we have to understand that the position of the US has changed over a period of time. If you look into the World War I, then probably you can say the Western European countries, especially England, were, was one of the most powerful countries. And during that time, US was silent. But in World War II, US have become one of the most powerful country and Western European countries like France, um, England, they become less powerful because of the various problems, including the economical crisis. So USA was the only one which has the same ideology that is called as capitalism. Capitalism is primarily they talk about money. On the other side, we have another one that is called as USSR. Soviet Rus. However, we also know that USA and USSR, the Cold War started in between them and by the end of the Cold War, during the 1990s, there is a disintegration of USSR. Okay, but what we are trying to learn is the context. Yes, of as those are by say. So, yes, of summers make a lay, Hamitola sa pitches and a parega. In 1990s, make a word. All of you know that this fall of the Berlin Wall, I think pictures were about hand. In the fall of the Berlin Wall, we understand that when USSR was disintegrated, disintegrated, what is it? For example, India and Pakistan were together. 1947, India Pakistan division. That is also USSR disintegration. And Ukraine is the second largest country after Russia. So, Russia, USSR, Russia is the largest country. And the country is the largest country. Ukraine. This background of brief. So, Saval Yeho Sakti that, sir, other second largest country, then how it is important and why Russia should, if, if it is already disintegrated, if they are settled, then why there is a war between Ukraine and Russia? Then, probably we have to understand during the Cold War, if you have read the Cold War properly, you will appreciate and understand that one of the reasons for USSR to, uh, you know, to have a face off with USA is because USA was instigating. So how USA was instigating? USA was instigating by providing 
financial assistance to Poland, Czech Republics, parts of Ukraine, etc. Okay, I'm talking about during Cold War. Number one. Number two, USA during that time was trying to implement the capitalist ideology on these countries. So, aap keh sakte ho, Russia ka border mein jitne sare countries hain, they were being influenced by USA. How? By giving financial assistance. I'm talking about Cold War. So question ye hai, that are they influenced? Answer is yes, they are influenced. So why they are influenced? Because Russia was not able to provide much needed financial assistance to these countries. So abhi USSR was not happy. USSR ye sochne laga ki aap USA is somewhere else. Why you should enter into Europe? You should keep yourself into America only. So USSR kya karne laga us time pe USSR was trying to influence some of the countries jaise ki Cuba okay so USA, uh, USSR was trying to influence some of the countries nearby USA fir aap sabko pata hai that the Cuban missile crisis when the Cuban Missile Crisis, I'm in 1960s, ke baare mein baat kar raha when the Cuban Missile Crisis happened, accusation kis pe, kis ke upar lagaya gaya? That the uh, uh, USSR was uh, or has stationed missiles in Cuba that is aiming towards USA. But such baat to ye hai that before the, before one year of the USSR, uh, this Cuban Missile Crisis, it is the USA who stationed missiles in Turkey that is aiming towards Russia. But ye baat kisko nahi pata? Ye baat baad mein, you know, reveal hua cheez. Ye baad mein reveal hua. Ek saal pehle, USA na pehle ye instigation start kiya tha. To abhi samaj maa raha hai, ki dono jo desh ke beech mein ideological, ek hai socialistic mindset. Agar aap socialistic banoge, to you cannot talk about the money. Dousri hai, in the other hand, you have capitalist mindset. If you talk about the money, you cannot always talk about welfare of the people 100%. So, dono beach, dono ke, dono deso ke beach mein, when they were fighting with each other, and it was not a real fight, it was primarily a hidden fight. That is the reason the name is Cold War. Ye aapas mein fight kar rahe, but verbally fight kar rahe. So, both these countries, USA as well as USSR, they were trying to create a group among themselves. Agenda is very simple. If they are leader, they need followers. So USSR wanted more and more countries to support them. USA wanted more and more countries to support them. And finally, what we have understood that that finally in the 1990s, there is a the, the USSR could not kept itself maintained with all the countries. Jitna sare hai, Ukraine and Poland and Belarus and etc. All of these countries somehow they were not properly being addressed by Russia, which is the larger federation, and they finally decided to disintegrate. So, yahan se paida hua Ukraine. Fir bhi, Russia, you know, having this boundary with Ukraine, there are multiple reasons why Russia should be interested in Ukraine. Okay, so when you get a question, you should try to answer. Probably Alok was giving a couple of beautiful points. You should try to give an answer from different dimensions. One dimension you can give what is the economical importance of Ukraine for Russia. Second, you can give what is the geopolitical. I'll explain, I'll write it down for you. What is the geopolitical importance of Ukraine on Russia? Okay. तो ये हो गया यूक्रेन एंड रशिया के बीच में और हमें क्या जानना है इंडिया के ऊपर इंपैक्ट क्या हुआ है वो भी हमें जानना है ये दूसरी है मतलब फर्स्ट पार्ट सेकंड पार्ट सो व्हेन वी ट्राई एंड अंडरस्टैंड मोर अबाउट दिस यूक्रेन एंड रशिया ऑल ऑफ यू नो दैट यूक्रेन यूक्रेन ओके 
okay got independent in 1991 you know earlier it was a part of ussr and ukraine is the second largest matlab first is russia and second is ukraine तो अब तक तो चल रहा था ठीक ठाक चल रहा था अभी अचानक से क्या हो गया उसके लिए मैं थोड़ा सा आई जस्ट वॉन्ट यू पीपल टू सी दिस पिक्चर लुक एट दिस पिक्चर एंड द पोजिशन ऑफ यूक्रेन आपको कुछ लग रहा है कि कुछ स्पेशल है डू यू थिंक देर इज एनी थिंग सी रूट देर इज अ सी रूट मी bring another picture dekho yahan pe uh kahan hai where is this uh, ukraine here is sir in the moldova i have moldova here black sea is there sir okay. sea of so, azov and black sea yes yes this is the ukraine ये साइड में आप देखो पोलैंड जर्मनी चेक रिपब्लिक स्लोवाकिया हंगरी ऑस्ट्रिया ये सारे जो कंट्रीज हैं ऑल ऑफ दीज कंट्रीज आर प्राइमरीली यू कैन से दे आर गिवन असिस्टेंट असिस्टेंट बाय यूएसए ड्यूरिंग कोल्ड वॉर एंड इस साइड में जितने सारे कंट्रीज हैं दे वर ट्राइड बाय दिस रशिया बट कुड नॉट केट द प्रोमिस सो अगर आप देखते हो व्हाट इज द इम्पोर्टेंट ऑफ यू नो रशिया आई वुड से सो व्हाट आई वाज टॉकिंग अबाउट इज द पोजीशन व्हाई इट इज इम्पोर्टेंट फॉर रशिया टू बेसिकली लुक इनटू द फैक्टर्स ओके आई वुड say for your studies point of view you can write down number one the most important factor is the geopolitics or global politics geo means the geographical location geopolitics and important strategic important strategic importance and dusri jo sabse bada aur ek important hai point wo hai economical factor okay so ek ek karke jante what is that uh, um जियो पॉलिटिक्स एंड वॉट इज दैट इकोनॉमिकल फैक्टर ध्यान से सुनना यही चीज आपको लिखना है अगर मैं जियो पॉलिटिक्स के बारे में बात करता हूँ जियो पॉलिटिक्स जियो पॉलिटिक्स मैंने क्या बताया जियो स्टैंड फॉर जियोग्राफिकल जियो स्टैंड फॉर जियोग्राफिकल तो इसमें जो सबसे बड़ी इंपॉर्टेंट चीज है दैट द रशिया एंड यूक्रेन दे हैव मैनी सिमिलैरिटीज सिमिलैरिटीज and the most important similarities is the culture so how can a country be divided when there is a same culture look at india and pakistan we have similar cultures okay so when we have a similar culture we understand each other that is a reason there are a lot of arguments isn't it so another thing what is most important is the size of ukraine and ukraine when ussr was not disintegrated during the time of ussr there were two major parts which were most powerful one is russia that is number one and one is ukraine to ye to hona hi tha jab ussr disintegration nahi hua tha us time pe do dono the hain 
Russia and Ukraine, they were most powerful. Point number one and point number two. तो रशिया कभी चाहेगा नहीं कि यूक्रेन आगे बढ़े एंड यूक्रेन कभी चाहेगा नहीं कि मेरे ऊपर कोई रहे सो दैट इज अ जियो पोलिटिकल पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू एंड अनदर मोस्ट इंपोर्टेंट एज आई टोल्ड यू दैट द पिक्चर वेर इज दैट पिक्चर दिस पिक्चर लुक एट दिस पिक्चर द अनदर मोस्ट इंपोर्टेंट इज इफ लुक एट द पिक्चर Ukraine has access to Black Sea. Okay, Ukraine has access to the Black Sea. So this makes Ukraine one of the lucrative and attractive um, point of Russia's aggressions. And at the same time, जो और एक भी बड़ा important चीज है the place of russia during the ussr it was a hub for it was a hub for military that means the defense manufacturing it is a hub for defense manufacturing Are you getting all of you? Are you understanding? Yes, sir. Ukraine, no, sir. Yes. Yes, Ukraine. Ukraine was the hub for military and defense manufacturing, and also you can talk about industries. You can talk about the industries also. So overall, you can say that Ukraine, the reason or the belt. For example, Ukraine में यूक्रेन का जो यू नो द ईस्टर्न साइड है द नेम इज डोन्सिन इट इज कंसिडर टू बी द इंडस्ट्रियल प्लेस सो देखो अभी मैं समराइज कर रहा हूं चीजों को अगर इफ द रशिया विल टेक यूक्रेन नंबर वन Russia will get maritime advantage. क्योंकि उसको ब्लैक सी से एक्सेस मिलेगा फुल एक्सेस मिलेगा अभी क्या है अभी थोड़ा सा एक्सेस मिला है बिकॉज ऑफ क्रीमिया अभी थोड़ा सा मिला है अगर यूक्रेन मिल जाएगा तो फिर फुल एक्सेस मिलेगा नेक्स्ट इट विल बी गेटिंग द ऑलरेडी सेटअप दट मीन्स एस्टाब्लिश्ड industries and once ukraine is the second largest then it will also increase the influence increase the influence of russia theek hai to ye sare cheez unko mil sakta hai ye sare cheez hai inko mil sakta hai अभी इतना डिड यू ऑल ऑफ यू यस सर इन्फ्लुएंस इन मींस ऑफ व्हाट सर इन्फ्लुएंस ऑफ रशिया इन द सेंस दैट फॉर एग्जांपल अगर मैं ये बोलूंगा दैट इफ अगर ऐसा हो दैट पाकिस्तान इज मर्ज विद इंडिया तो फिर इंडिया व्हेन द इंडियाज टेरिटरी विल बी एनलार्ज द इंडियाज रेपुटेशन एंड इंडियाज इन्फ्लुएंस ऑन द ग्लोबल पॉलिटिक्स वुड बी मच हाई अभी रशिया का जो इम्प्रेशन है व्हेन रशिया विल गेट द यूक्रेन व्हिच इज कंसीडर्ड टू बी वन ऑफ द सेकंड मोस्ट पावरफुल कंट्री देन ऑटोमेटिकली द रशिया वुड बी कंसीडर्ड एज लिटिल बिट मोर पावर गेम कहाँ पे समझो बात को गेम ये है कि रशिया चाहता है पहले जैसा था ड्यूरिंग द टाइम ऑफ यूएसएसआर वैसा ही हो सो रशिया वॉन्ट्स टू हैव अ face to face or face off with usa on the moment when ussr got disintegrated usa become the single most powerful country in the world which russia doesn't want russia wants the balance of power okay ye ho gaya aapka geopolitical factors is it clear all of you yes sir okay 
ये जियो पॉलिटिकल फैक्टर है थर्ड पॉइंट में क्या लिखा है वो समझ yes, नहीं आ रहा एस्टैब्लिश्ड इंडस्ट्रीज दैट मींस यू इन यूक्रेन देयर आर ऑलरेडी इंडस्ट्रीज व्हिच आर एस्टैब्लिश्ड सो इफ रशिया विल गेट दिस विल विल गेट द यूक्रेन देन रशिया विल हैव एक्सेस टू द ऑलरेडी एस्टैब्लिश्ड इंडस्ट्रीज ऑलराइट क्लियर सर यस यस सर सर व्हेन देयर वाज यूएसएसआर इन यूक्रेन सर देयर वाज must uh, means num- more number of uh, nuclear missile launching centers were there sir yes but uh, right. after that us uh, ukraine all uh, destroyed everything when he came to the peace uh, agreement with uh, the un council sir so that is correct are, are is this the is this also a kind of region for the geopolitics for russia yes to reopen those is, things told that the defense industries you know the defense establishment uh, was in ukraine it is still in ukraine by the way so yes, once sir, in- once russia is taking the uh, ukraine it will get access to those industries okay theek okay? hai so we should mention it sir like uh, nuclear open industries or no i think that should be specifically mentioned you should simply put it in easy way that defense industries okay so defense okay. Industries. defense also includes the nuclear thing because when you go to always remember in international relations when you write an answer in ir you cannot be explicit in certain statements like for example if you write a statement that india and russia relation uh, sorry a ukraine and russia relation is controversial what is this controversial there is nothing called as controversial it is a relation either the relation will be bitter or the relation would be fruitful so you have to be clarified for that okay diplomatic language sh- sh- should be learned diplomatic uh, decisions taken by the country are always correct according to the country now india has also taken a lot of uh, uh, decisions with the context of uh, ukraine and russia so for india it is correct theek okay? hai sir yes mother uh, sir can we add uh, the involvement uh, the nato itself uh, yes, the ukraine you wants to Yes, sir. Tap I'm coming to that. Yes. Now, uh, so far this is clear. Another point, as I told you, see the Cold War, though it is formally concluded with the fall of Berlin Wall, but it is still not concluded with Russia's point of view. So Russia thinks if it get chance, it can reoccupy those old territories. now there comes the much needed part of nato what is nato nato stands for north atlantic treaty organization north atlantic treaty organization treaty organization okay so let us pause here thoda sa isme abhi yahan pe thoda pause karte hain thoda sa nato ke bare mein jaan lete hain ki nato hai kya ye cheez okay फिर अभी हम लोग फिर से स्टार्ट करेंगे सो नेटो वॉज फॉर्म देखो एक आई आर टॉपिक को कैसे पढ़ा जाता है वो भी आप लोगों को मैं सिखा रहा हूँ ऐसा नहीं कि एक ही टॉपिक को बैठ के उसके ऊपर फोकस करो यू हैव टू आपका दिमाग चारों ओर चलना चाहिए अगर नेटो आ रहा है तो नेटो के बारे में थोड़ा सा जानकारी चाहिए आप लोगों को तो नेटो कब हुआ था नाइनटीन में ओके okay? 1949 में नेटो वॉज फॉर्म क्यों हुआ था उस टाइम पे नेटो वॉज फॉर्म एज ए डिटरेंट एज ए डिटरेंट ये वर्ड इंपोर्टेंट है ठीक है इन आई आर एज ए डिटरेंट टू द थ्रेट ऑफ टू द थ्रेट ऑफ सोवियत एक्सपांसन इन यूरोप बात समझो इसको दिस इज इंपोर्टेंट अगर ये समझ पाओगे तो आपको समझ में आ जाएगा क्या चल रहा है अभी मतलब अभी क्या हो रहा है दैट नेटो इसलिए किया गया ताकि जो पूरा यूरोप है रशिया और दैट मीन्स द यूएसएसआर का एक्सपेंशन और जैसे ना हो दैट मीन्स द वेस्टर्न कंट्रीज शुड नॉट बी ट्रैप्ड बाय द यूएसएसआर इसके लिए एक डिफेंस बनाया गया डिफेंस मतलब एक एक यू कैन टॉक अबाउट ग्रुप और 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 एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन व्हिच विल बी रेस्पॉन्सिबल टू डिटर डिटर का मतलब वो प्रेशर करके रखेगा ठीक है रीजन क्या था बिकॉज 
in ussr uh, as it is dependent on the socialistic ideology somehow what has happened slowly the western countries they also started liking this nationalistic and this socialistic ideologies now these western countries including the usa thought that it will be problematic if russia if the ussr was supposed to get all the details or get all of this uh, you know influence over the western europe then ussr will become the one of the most powerful or only the powerful country in the world which usa doesn't want so nato was formed background clear hai nato kyun kiya gaya nato was created just to oppose aur thoda sa isko delay karna hai cheeze ko okay but agar aap sahi mein jankari chahte ho if you really want to know about uh, this uh, nato this is not 1949 it is 1947 when the uk and france signed the treaty yaad rakhna ye sab cheeze okay when the uk and france signed the treaty of dunkirk or dunkirk kiske liye why they have signed the treaty they have signed the treaty to counter an attack from germany samjho baat ko main abhi kya aapko bata raha hu abhi thoda sa pause karke aapko main ye bata raha hu the nato 1949 mein formally to start hua but uska origin kahan pe hua uska origin hai 1947 mein when the uk and france they signed a treaty of dunkirk and what was the reason for this uh, treaty is to form an alliance between uk and france to counter an attack from germany ye clear hai sabko just raise your hand if you have understood this much okay theek hai yes any question i think somebody raised the hand to Sir, ask any question the counter and attack then no kya likha hai wo from germany from germany germany was supposed to make an attack so uk thought that it is not a it is not a wise decision to just counter uh, itself because it needs the alliance it needs more power so it requested or it invited france to form the alliance as a treaty of dunkirk in 1947 अब बात समझो 1947 में क्या हुआ था इधर इंडिया भी इंडिपेंडेंस उसके वो यूके के ऊपर बहुत प्रेशर था यूके का हिम्मत ही नहीं था कि जर्मनी के सामने वो खड़ा रह सके इधर इकोनॉमिकल क्राइसिस है उधर पॉलिटिकल क्राइसिस है पॉलिटिकल क्राइसिस के लिए फ्रांस के साथ इसने अलायंस बना दिया इकोनॉमिकल क्राइसिस के लिए इसने यूएसए से हाथ पकड़ा हमें थोड़ा सा कुछ दे दो यस रश्मिता एनी क्वेश्चन रश्मिता ठीक है now what has happened later on okay so later on another 12 men members later on the 12 original mai bol sakta hu original 12 members they formed a political and military alliance jo ki formally aap bol sakte ho nato mein uska naam hua कौन कौन है वो आर दिस ट्वेल्व फाउंडिंग मेंबर्स आप बोल सकते हो यूएसए डेफिनेटली इज द वन ऑफ द फाउंडिंग मेंबर यूके बेल्जियम कनाडा डेनमार्क फ्रांस आइलैंड इटली लग्जमबर्ग नेदरलैंड्स नॉर्वे पोर्तुगल सो ट्वेल्व ओरिजिनल फाउंडिंग मेंबर्स मिलके नाटो स्टार्ट किए उसके लिए एक मेरे पास बहुत ही अच्छा पिक्चर है उसको थोड़ा सा मैं आप लोगों को दिखा देता हूँ I have a good picture for you. So, थोड़ा सा देख लो Can you see this picture? Sir, on board you write some uh, wrote something like that political and something words, sir. I missed that point. I I wrote something political and military. Political, okay. Sir. Yes. Just look at this picture. You know, 
दीज आर दंट्रीज दीज आर में ये सारे कंट्रीज एड हुए दीज आर कॉल्ड एज फाउंडिंग मेंबर्स ये जितने सारे कंट्रीज हैं दीज आर फाउंडिंग मेंबर्स उसके बाद फिर बढ़ते गए 1952 से 90 में ग्रीस टर्की जर्मनी स्पेन 1919 में 99 में पोलैंड चेक रिपब्लिक हंगरी ओके अब देखो हंगरी कहाँ पे है हंगरी चेक रिपब्लिक कहाँ पे है ये वाला पिक्चर कहाँ है वेरी दिस पिक्चर सो इफ यू रीड लाइक दिस थिंग्स विल बी कम्प्लीटेड वेर इज हंगरी और हंगारी जो भी बोलो कहाँ है ये नाटो इधर ना जाए बात समझ रहे हो एवरीबडी आर यू अंडरस्टैंडिंग व्हाट इज द एक्चुअल रीजन व्हाई द वॉर इज गोइंग ऑन कैन यू पॉइंट यूक्रेन इज द रीजन बट व्हाट इज द हिडन रीजन व्हाट इज द ओरिजिनल रीजन द ओरिजिनल रीजन इज वेरी सिंपल टू ऑब्स्ट्रक्ट और टू क्रिएट डिटरेंट टू क्रिएट डिटरेंट ऑफ नेटो फ्रॉम बीइंग एक्सपांडिंग टू दिस टेरिटरीज क्लियर है क्लियर सर ठीक है ना मैंने आपको कोल्ड वॉर में क्या बताया था जब क्यूबन मिसल क्राइसिस हुआ 1960s में मैंने आपको क्या बताया था दैट यूएसए अक्यूज यूएसएसआर कि आप हाउ कैन यू पुट मिसाइल्स ऑन क्यूबा बट उसका एक साल पहले नाउ यूएसए पुट मिसाइल्स ऑन टर्की नाउ टर्की इज वेरी क्लोज टू रशिया सो रशिया आप क्या सोच रहे हैं कि मेरे पास सारे एनिमीज हैं आई हैव ऑल द एनिमीज Except this Belarus. तो अगर यूक्रेन जो सबसे बड़ा है वो भी अगर नेटो के अंदर आ जाएगा तो तो दिक्कत है फिर तो कुछ करना पड़ेगा और यू कैन ऑल्सो से दैट द द एक्शन दैट इज बेसिकली रशिया एग्रेशन ऑन यूक्रेन वॉज ऑल्सो क्लियर मैसेज वॉज ऑल्सो क्लियर मैसेज टू द वर्ल्ड दट लुक यू कैनॉट साइलेंस यू कैनॉट डू द यूनिटर डिसीजन एज द वे यू वॉन्ट otherwise you have to face the consequences theek hai clear samajh mein aaya yes sir ye aapka clear ho gaya nato ke bare mein maine bata diya briefly abhi aur aage jate hain let us go more into it so russia is claiming what is russia's actual reason that russia is thinking nato is expanding and russia doesn't want nato to expand theek hai now aur ek bhi maine aap logo ko bataya tha ki cold war ke time pe how usa has influenced europe kaise by giving financial assistance जैसे कि फॉर एग्जांपल पोलैंड जैसे कि चेक रिपब्लिक चेक सी सी जेड ई सी एच रिपब्लिक ये सारे कंट्री में यूएस ने क्या किया है नेटो देर इज मिसाइल्स अभी भी हैं तो रशिया का ये बोलना है वेर इज दिस पिक्चर दिस पिक्चर जस्ट रशिया का क्या कहना है दट आप लोग बोलते हो दट देर हैज टू बी पीस इन द वर्ल्ड आई थिंक दिस इज रॉन्गली कॉपीट दट यू से देर इज देर हैज टू बी पीस इन द वर्ल्ड हाउ कम यू पुट मिसाइल्स इन द प्लेसेस विच आर नियर बाय ऑफ रशिया लुक एट फर इज चेक पोलैंड समझ तो यहाँ पे मिसाइल्स हैं। दिस इज रशिया दिस इज यूक्रेन बॉर्डरिंग विद पोलैंड दैट इज अनदर कंसर्न 
that is another concern right now going next going next is that one of the biggest reason which we have understood is nato that is one of the biggest reason तो ये हो गया बैकग्राउंड ये बैकग्राउंड इंक्लूडिंग स्ट्रेटेजिक इंपोर्टेंस क्यों हो रहा है व्हाई व्हाई द वॉर इज हैपनिंग दैट वी हैव अंडरस्टूड अभी नाउ इफ यू वांट टू नो मोर अबाउट व्हाट हैज एग्जैक्टली हैज हैपेंड रिसेंटली अगर हम मैं मे 31st का अगर आपको रिसेंट अपडेट में दे रहा हूं दिस दिस इज द लेटेस्ट पिक्चर फ्रॉम अल जजीरा यहां पे आप क्लियरली देख सकते हो ओके दैट दिस दिस इज वेयर जब वॉर हुआ Ukraine is somehow devastated. People are becoming refugee. You can clearly see that from Ukraine, from Ukraine, there are many. These are the numbers of uh, people who have gone to different parts. Twenty-seven thousand thirty-four uh, lakhs to went to Poland. Uh, Four lakh thirty-five thousand people they went to Slovakia. Around six lakhs went to Hungary. Around uh, nine lakhs went to Romania. Around four lakh, five lakhs went to Moldova. So and so far. So, सबसे ज़्यादा है आपका basically Poland. And Poland was influenced by USA. समझ रहे हो बात को? ठीक है? तो मैं आपको क्या कह रहा हूँ कि आपको ये focus नहीं करना है that how many people are killed. That's not 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 your uh, concern for the exam point of view. You should not focus on those things. You should not focus on those things. आपको क्या focus करना है? That issue क्या है? What stage at uh, it is currently today? Look at here. Okay. So how the Russia? You can see the tanks. यहाँ पे आप देख सकते हो. Tanks. Russia. Because the Crimea is controlled by Russia now, Russia has entered to Ukraine via Crimea. यहाँ पे आप देख सकते हो all of this are Russia's invasion from different parts. Belarus is supporting Russia, so there is also tanks to Belarus. Okay, there is also tanks to Belarus from Russia. All right, so. Uh, basically, if you look into uh, the Russia uh, invading Ukraine, I still recall. Actually, I was watching that, you know, United Nations uh, uh, Security Council meeting that day. I think it was around uh, 11 a.m. in the morning. I was watching that live. Uh, it is on February 24th, 2022, when the United Nations Security Council was going on, where the Russia itself is having a veto power. and uh, interestingly the russian federation is the also the chair chairperson of the unsc security council then the russia invaded or bombarded started aggression in ukraine the meeting was going on on the moment meeting was going on things have started theek okay? hai so there are much discussions and uh, the you know um uh, discussions in unsc security council but unsc security council you know that it is not consensus basis un security council is primarily based on it is primarily based on the members approval it is not based on a democratic form democratic mein hota kya hai jo majority hoga wohi maan liya jayega but yahan pe e every unsc permanent uh, uh, council members has to agree and russia is the one of the uh, permanent member so that is the reason why russia has denied russia has said that we what what we want is that we want the military to surrender we want the political leadership to surrender we mean no harm to the people of ukraine ye kiska kehna hai ye russia ka kehna hai ye russia ka kehna hai theek hai so mera question my question is very simple is ukraine a part of nato no no sir no sir has ever been um, uh, a case 
that Ukraine was proposed to be a part of NATO? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Can you tell me why? Or uh, anyways, okay. No, I mean, let me make it simple for you. Recently, you might have seen that Zelensky, the president of uh, Ukraine, has uh, directly said to NATO that you must include us in NATO. There was a time when Ukraine wanted to be part of the NATO, but the, the then president of Ukraine decided not to be part of the Ukraine. It was an independent decision of Ukraine itself. The reason is because Ukraine wanted non-alliance. Okay, India ka NIM hai, non aligned movement. Hai. Ukraine also wanted non alliance. Ukraine wanted the independence. That is the reason why Ukraine did not want to be part of NATO during that time. But abhi uska stand change ho gaya. now Ukraine say that if you really care for us, Ukraine has also said to this um, uh, Western countries, if you really uh, you know like us, if you really want to support us, you must include us in NATO. Sir. Yeah. Yes. In this, sorry to interrupt. interrupt. Uh -huh. okay. But actually, after Zelensky got into uh, power, they have in their constitution that they are going to be part of the NATO. That's why Russia got frightened that uh, NATO is getting extra more. That's why the, it is one of the uh, cause that uh, they invade. Yes, yes. That's what I'm saying. So after uh, that, after they have been in there, I'm not able to recall, but I have that. Uh, I have written somewhere. Yes. No, I'm saying that President Zelensky, he demanded in front of the public, and he there was a public video also, he, he wants to be part of the NATO. But now this NATO, they are basically, because Russia has also warned them, that if Ukraine will be part of the NATO, then all of these NATO countries has to face the consequences. There is a clear warning from Russia. So ye hai aapka politics. This is the politics, and this is what is uh, uh, we understand so far. But abhi hume kya chahiye? What is the stand of India? India ka stand kya hai? India ka stand kya hai? Uske liye hume thoda sa janna padega. Okay? Uske liye thoda sa janna padega ki kya India pehle bhi aisa agar koi international mudda hai. उस टाइम पे इंडिया का स्टैंड क्या था कुछ कुछ एग्जांपल मैं आपको दे सकता हूं ओके फॉर एग्जांपल मैं अगर इफ आई टॉक अबाउट 1956-57 उस टाइम पे रशियन रशियन रशिया इंटरवेंट इन हंगरी Okay, Russia has intervened in Hungary. Us time pe Nehru was the prime minister, but Nehru did not condemn this. Nehru did not condemn this. Nehru said that we would be non-aligned. Okay, and agar ab aur bhi bahut sare hain. When it was a Soviet, Soviet, uh, you know, its invents, uh, its interventions in Hungary, then Czechoslovakia. Afghanistan, then if we talk about the USA has invaded uh, Iraq. Iran. At that time, pe bhi, India was non-aligned. So, if you ask this question, that the India ka jo stand hai, now today's stand uh, on, on the Russia and Ukraine is non-aligned, is it expected and says yes it is expected why because already india ka agar history dekhoge dono bilateral desh ke andar kabhi bhi conflict hota hai to india has always remained non aligned to india ka response kya hai first is jab unsc mein voting hua unsc When in the UNSC there was uh, uh, voting, India abstained. Abstain ka matlab kya hai? Ki India ne vote 
नहीं किया एंड दूसरी बार जब यूएन जनरल असेंबली यूएन जी में फिर वोटिंग हुआ रिजोल्यूशन हुआ यूक्रेन रशिया का मिलिट्री एक्शन के ऊपर फिर इंडिया आल्सो एबस्टेन ओके फिर और एक मैं कह सकता हूं दैट आई ए ई ए स्टैंड फॉर इंटरनेशनल एटॉमिक एनर्जी एजेंसी वहां पे जब एक रिजोल्यूशन हुआ फिर इंडिया आल्सो एबस्टेंड ये ये सब चीज मेंशन करना है आपको ओके okay? तो क्वेश्चन ये कि सर क्या ये इंडिया ही है जो एबस्टेंड किया है नहीं और भी है जैसे साउथ अफ्रीका है आल्सो एबस्टेंड चाइना डिक्लाइंड यूएई एबस्टेंड यूएई तो बाय द वे यूएस का ही अलाई है अगर आप कहते हो यूएई यूएस का ही अलाई है इसराइल यूएस का ही अलाई है बट दे एबस्टेंड दे एबस्टेंड और एक देखो टर्की टर्की आप कह सकते हो टर्की इज नेटो का एक अलाई है वो भी एबस्टेंड कर दिया उन्होंने बोला कि हम ये दोनों के बीच में हम नहीं जाएंगे तो फिर इसमें इंडिया का क्या प्रॉब्लम है बिकॉज प्रॉब्लम इसलिए है द यूएस प्रेसिडेंट यूएस प्रेसिडेंट जो बाइडन है सेड दैट इंडिया का जो पोजिशन है इंडिया पोजिशन इज समवॉट से ये वाला एग्जैक्ट स्टेटमेंट था समवॉट से ये भी कहा जाता था दट इंडिया के ऊपर बिकॉज ऑफ इंडिया इंडिया नॉट कंडेमिंग द एक्शन इंडिया के ऊपर कुछ सैंक्शन हो सकता था अब सबको पता है वेस्टर्न कंट्रीज है सैंक्शन ऑन रशिया यूएसए हैज सैंक्शन ऑन रशिया इकोनॉमिकल सैंक्शन भी हुआ है उन लोगों के ऊपर फिर आप रिसेंटली अभी क्या हुआ रशिया एंड इंडिया के बीच में एस फोर हंड्रेड एस फोर हंड्रेड मिलसाइन सिस्टम को जब डील हो रहा था एस फोर हंड्रेड के वजह से देर वॉज अ फियर दैट देर कुड बी काटसा सी ए ए टी एस एस देर कुड बी काटसा सैंक्शन ऑन इंडिया कुड बी हा कुड बी मैं ये नहीं कह रहा हूं कि काटसा सैंक्शन हुआ है बट देर कुड बी अगर आप पूछते हो कि काटसा पता है व्हाट इज काटसा यस सर व्हाट इज काटसा सर काउंटरिंग अमेरिकन एडवाइजरीज थ्रू सैंक्शंस नेट ओके वेरी गुड काउंटरिंग अमेरिकास एडवाइजरीज थ्रू सैंक्शंस एक्ट सर जो इराक के ऊपर लगा है नॉर्थ कोरिया के ऊपर भी ईरान नॉर्थ कोरिया इनके ऊपर क्या है कि काटसा लगा है काटसा इज बेसिकली सैंक्शंस ओके सैंक्शंस सो आप कह सकते हो इंडिया के ऊपर क्या इंपैक्ट हो सकता है कि काटसा अगर इंडिया ऐसा कुछ काम करें तो पॉसिबल है कि काटसा भी लग सकता है अभी तक नहीं लगाए लग सकता है ओके okay. तो इसमें अगर काटसा लगेगा तो क्या प्रॉब्लम होगा वो भी तो जानना है अगर काटसा लगता है तो प्रॉब्लम ये है दैट जो आर्म्स हम लोग खरीद रहे हैं रशिया से वो बंद हो सकता है और बंद होने के लिए आप ये कह सकते हो दैट वी आर हैविंग वी आर ट्राइंग टू मेंटेन अ गुड रिलेशन विथ इंडिया विथ यूएसए दैट रिलेशन कैन बी टेड द रिलेशन कुड बी टिटोरेटेड ठीक है सो नाउ फ्रॉम द पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू अगर ये हो गया आपका स्ट्रेटेजिक पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू इंडिया का स्टैंड अगर हम इकोनॉमिकल पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू से देखते हैं इकोनॉमिक पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू एवरीबडी हैज सैंक्शन स्पेशली आप वो कह सकते हो दैट मैक्सिमम you know uh, the countries have sanctioned on russia except few of the countries jaise ki japan sorry the japan uh, yeah i mean every 
maximum western countries have sanction including few of the asian countries japan south korea and aur ek ho gaya aapka singapore ye jo teen country hain they are actually ally of usa so they have supported they have supported usa and their sanctions but china india they did not support sanctions by usa theek hai isme economical point of view agar india ke bare mein dekhte ho then we have much all weather friend india russia ka jo relation bilateral relation thoda sa pad lena all weather friend ye kaha jata hai india and russia ke beech mein ye number 1 number 2 oil India is an import driven country matlab hum log oil bahut zyada import karte hain and one of the sources of getting the oil is russia and when there was the 2 plus 2 dialogue going on between usa and india recently the foreign minister jay shankar has commented you should not mention that comment in the writing okay by the you should refrain from any political statements Yes, But the I comment was that, very sir. clear that before you talk about what India is standing or why India is standing on its purchase of oil from Russia, you should first ask Europe that why they are purchasing the oil from Russia till now. And recently, if I see yesterday's news, then yesterday Russia has claimed that their oil export has increased by 200 percent. Yesterday's yesterday's news is this. रशिया हैज क्लेम दैट उनका ऑयल का एक्सपोर्ट 200 परसेंट ज्यादा हुआ है कम होना चाहिए उनका ज्यादा हुआ है तो ये है इंडिया का स्टैंड समझ में आया सबको क्लियर एवरीवन ठीक है सो अभी कंक्लूजन क्या होगा व्हाट शुड बी द कंक्लूजन कंक्लूजन शुड बी दैट नंबर वन कंक्लूजन अगर हम यूएस एंड सॉरी दैट यूक्रेन एंड रशिया के बारे में अगर बात करते हैं तो द कंक्लूजन इज ओनली द डायलॉग इज द वे फॉरवर्ड इज द वे फॉरवर्ड ठीक है सो दोनों देश के बीच में डायलॉग होना चाहिए बायोलेट्रल टॉक्स होना चाहिए और म्यूचुअली एग्रीएबल कंक्लूजन पे पहुंचना चाहिए और यूनिलिटरली देर शुड नॉट बी एनी डिसीजन ओके नाउ यू कैन से देर शुड बी अ बैलेंस्ड अप्रोच अगर हम इंडिया का पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू से देखते हैं इंडिया इज प्लेइंग अ बैलेंस्ड अप्रोच व्हाट इज द बैलेंस अप्रोच इन वन साइड वी हैव क्वाड कंट्री जो कि इंडियन ओशियन के लिए इंपॉर्टेंट है इन द अदर साइड वी हैव चाइना तो चाइना को काउंटर के लिए काउंटर करने के लिए हमें यूएसए भी चाहिए बिकॉज यूएसए से मदद मिलेगा और रशिया से हमें क्या मिलेगा फ्रेंडशिप मिलेगा तो मतलब अगर झगड़ा हुआ चाइना के साथ तो रशिया हमें रशिया चाइना को समझा सकता है और यूएस हमें साथ दे सकता है फाइट करने के लिए ओके सो इंडिया इज मेकिंग अ बैलेंस अप्रोच ये भी आप कह सकते हो ठीक है एंड इंडिया is not a part of alliance system india has always been a part of nam non aligned movement it has it it remains to be part of nam okay aur kya likh sakte ho and another point you can write that every country every country has their right has their right has right to take its foreign policy on realistic approach to so india ka kya kehna hai that india is saying that what is best for the interest of the country we are doing that okay we are doing that agar question ye hai that if india is remaining silent does that mean india is supporting war no india is not supporting war india is 
not supporting war but before accusing russia india wants a proper investigation should be there to find out whether it is a real war crimes or not okay so what the world leaders are saying what the western countries are saying about the india's position in this western countries are saying that india does not have spine india does not have spine matlab india kabhi koi cheez ke upar apna opinion nahi rakh sakta hai so this is what is the entire story of ukraine russia and the impact on india okay to maine aapko logo ko kya samjhaya thoda sa summarize mein kar leta hu so i told you why the ukraine and russia war happened i told you how it happened i told you the nato angle and also the details about nato i told you about the india's stand then i told you why india should take this stand that means in the concluding part so this is the entire information which you need to understand and write yes, sir in your main examination so should we mention some points of uh, why uh, india wants to take stand again, uh, with russia yes I, I, that is what i have told already no nice. sir all you said that all weather friend so should we um, should we mention something like that from swen and why russia helped india in the no, uh, no, no. Uh, in the attack of uh, that should not be the case try to understand okay. if we write that india as so sorry russia has always helped india uh, and that is the reason why we are helping uh, the um, um, russia then probably iska matlab galat ho jata hai iska matlab ye hota hai ki aap war ko support kar rahe ho baat hmm. samjho india kya keh raha hai india keh raha hai ki we do not support war india kya keh raha hai uska baat samjho that is the reason why diplomatic uh, language has to be understood india is saying ki hum war ko support nahi karte hain hum to chahte hain that ukraine and russia they sit together and they solve the dialogue hum war nahi chahte hain india Means kabhi ye nahi kaha hai okay we should not frame the statement by ourselves we should always understand ki foreign secretary kya keh rahe hain foreign minister unka statement hame likhna chahiye okay to hame clearly yahi likhna chahiye that india does not support war however india is trying to maintain its strategical importance and relations both with russia as well as with with the western countries including us theek hai to agar aap favor wali baat likh doge ki russia hame dekho ye hidden hai ye hidden agenda hai बट ऑफिशियल स्टेटमेंट से कुछ भी एक चीज आप गलत मत लिखो मेरा कहने का मतलब यही अगर ऑफिशियल स्टेटमेंट पे ये नहीं लिखा गया है कि रशिया हमें हेल्प कर रहा है इसलिए हम उसको फेवर कर रहे हैं नो इंडिया इंडियन सेक्रेटरी या फिर फॉरेन मिनिस्टर कभी भी ये नहीं स्टेटमेंट दिए हैं हमेशा स्टेटमेंट ये है दैट इंडिया नेवर सपोर्ट्स वॉर इंडिया स्टिल वॉन्ट्स दैट यूक्रेन एंड रशिया शुड स्टॉप द वॉर इमिडिएटली एंड दे शुड कम टू अ डायलॉग एंड दे शुड कम टू अ डिस्कशन so that there will be an amicable resolution of this issue however india also understand its importance and its strategic uh, uh, you know factor that we need to maintain relation with russia as well as other countries and in in the in best interest of india it is what india can protect its international relations or foreign policies uh, um, with its effects to so, uh, this conclusion has to be balanced because यूक्रेन एंड रशिया का जो टॉपिक है इट्स सेंसिटिव आई आर एंटायरली सेंसिटिव टॉपिक तो ये सब सेंसिटिव टॉपिक में अगर आप एक वर्ड इधर उधर हो जाता है इंटरव्यू में पूछा जाता है चीजें इंटरव्यू में कुछ कुछ चीजें आप यूज नहीं कर सकते जैसे वार ओके okay? अगर आप वार जो वर्ड है कुछ कुछ कॉन्टेक्स्ट में अगर आप इसको यूज करते हैं तो इंटरव्यूअर विल थिंक दैट यू आर इंक्लाइन टूवर्ड्स वन फैक्टर जैसे कि अभी इफ यू राइट डाउन इन दिस वे दैट रशिया इज सपोर्टेड दैट्स द रीजन इंडिया इज सपोर्टिंग देन ये लगेगा कि आप फेवर कर रहे हो आप एहसान कर रहे हो किसी बायसनेस क्रिएट हो जाएगा बायसनेस क्रिएट होता है ये शो होता okay. है आपका आंसर तो आपको वो नहीं कर सर इन द कंक्लूजन पार्ट सर वी वो स्ट्रिक्टली वेंट टुवर्ड्स ओनली द रशिया सर लाइक द क्वेश्चन वाज सर दैट इंडिया यूक्रेन रिलेशनशिप सो वी डिडंट राइट एनीथिंग दैट व्हाई इंडिया आल्सो नॉट 
uh, uh, going against uh, Russia and uh, not uh, supporting Ukraine also. We didn't write something about that. Sir. No, see, I mean, the topic is not India Ukraine or the topic is not India Russia. The topic is war. कहीं पे हो रहा है तो उसके ऊपर India के ऊपर क्या impact हो रहा है? That is the topic. It's not bilateral. Sir, economic point of view, sir, we didn't write this that what is India and Ukraine is the relationship with India and Russia. We mentioned it with India and Russia. If you want, you can mention a few of the points. But you should not explain more. That is the demand. It is not that you have to explain about India and Russia. It is not that you have to explain about India and Ukraine. Sir, in dialogue parts, can we write that means elements are there? Yeah, just like in Ukraine, for example, our Indian students go to study a lot. So you can also write down in this way that India has to also maintain a good relation with Ukraine because our Indian diaspora is important for our country. Simple. आप इतना छोटा सा दो-तीन लाइन लिखे उसको खत्म करो. उसके अंदर आप मत जाओ. Do not do masters or PhD in that. Focus on understand the demand. Demand of the question is to explain impact क्या है, not the bilateral relations. Clear? सर डायलॉग पार्ट में सर हम लोग लिख सकते हैं मिंग्स एग्रीमेंट के बारे में जो हुआ था क्रिमिया को लेकर यू कैन राइट डाउन ब्रीफली फ्यू पॉइंट्स यू कैन राइट डाउन और डू नॉट गो इनटू इलेब्रेशंस ओके ठीक है सो डू लेट मी नो हैज एवरीबॉडी अंडरस्टूड प्लीज रेज योर हैंड और गिव मी इन द चै Sir, now sir, Crimea is part of Ukraine or Russia, sir? Crimea is part of Ukraine. Crimea is part of Ukraine, actually. Okay. Yes, sir, sir. Crimea is part of Ukraine. Crimea is part of Ukraine. Crimea doesn't know where to go. But in the end, you can say that the Crimea is still under the influence of Russia. You can say that. After the next agreement, Russia will take it. Yes, sir. Sir, pressure is by Russia. Yes. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. This is like Pakistan or Kupayat Kashmir like that. Okay, sir. That's the type of issue. Okay. All right. So, confident? All of you? Yes, sir. Can you get any topic? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So, then tomorrow we are going to have another new important topic. That is Afghanistan issue. Again, we will study what is the impact of India. क्योंकि आज जो आज एंड कल का जो टॉपिक होने होने वाला है मोस्ट प्रोबेबल फ्रॉम योर एग्जाम पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू तो जैसे मैं आपको बोल रहा हूं कोई भी चीज के ऊपर पीएचडी नहीं करना है घुसना मत अगर इंडिया यूक्रेन रशिया के बीच में हो रहा है तो उसके लिए ब्रीफ देना है मेजर फोकस आपको इंडिया के ऊपर करना है ओके तो ट्राई टू बी मोर बैलेंस्ड इन योर अप्रोच क्योंकि हमेशा कंक्लूजन बैलेंस होना चाहिए बायसनेस शो नहीं करना चाहिए कोई भी कंट्री के ऊपर और हमेशा याद रखो तो थोड़ा सा जब आप आंसर राइटिंग लिखते हो वो डिप्लोमेटिक लैंग्वेज यूज करने के लिए आप कोशिश करो एंड प्रोबेबली दैट विल हेल्प यू लॉट इन योर आंसर राइटिंग राइट